Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I love? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence and the season of giving. Right now over on Patreon.com slash Inkdependence, patrons get a patron-only Discord. They get ad-free video and they get the joy of knowing that they have supported this channel. Hello folks, welcome to Independence. I'm Mike, and this is day 19 of our dye mining event. Of course, this year brought to us by True Fay. Thank you very much, True Fay. Ah, my thumb was over right there, day 19. So that's uh, six days, come on, six days left. Here we have Cinnabon, all right. I like a Cinnabon. It's like it's gonna be a nice kind of golden brown and it's scented, uh-oh. Well, let's see what this one is like here. All right, so this is going to be a controversial one, before, uh, of course, because it is scented and everyone is sort of rightfully leery of scented inks because you never know what they're going to be like and they can go wrong. But Cinnabon here is a really nice looking uh, brown. It's kind of a kind of a warm brown going on here. Of course, I, I drew a cinnamon bun and then like a, you know, a couple of a cinnamon bun two ways. Uh, I love cinnamon buns. They're delicious. Uh, this is an interesting color and I guess it's kind of cinnamon bunny. I'll give it that. Now, what's the smell like? The smell is almost exactly like those little uh, red um, cinnamon disc candies. That's that's what this reminds me of. I can barely smell it on the paper now, but it's definitely there a little bit. I'm sure it will fade fairly quickly. These usually do. But uh, yeah, a little bit like that cinnamon disc candy. Well, a lot like the cinnamon disc candy and not so much like cinnamon buns, I don't think, which usually have like more of a, I don't know, a pastry sort of smell to them to my to my mind. Here's Audrey's swatch of it. Hers is well darker there, but I think the writing is actually kind of a lot like what I swatched. And uh, hers looks like it was super wet. I think she probably used this nib if I had to guess. And uh, I think that um, these scented inks are always a little bit on the wet side, but with the fine nib that I used, this little one right here, it seemed like it would be pretty controllable and not, uh, not wildly wet or anything. So this one actually might be a very usable scented ink as long as you like the smell of, uh, of the cinnamon discs. So I pulled a few inks here. Um, I pulled Diamond Gingerbread because I thought people might want to see how these kind of stack up. And I think Gingerbread is just kind of, um, it's kind of redder. It's a little bit closer to Audrey's swatch than it is to, uh, to mine here, but it's a little bit on the redder side, I think. Then I also pulled Sailor 50 States, Texas. Um, and that looks a little bit like Audrey's swatch more than mine too, but I was thinking uh, this corner down here kind of looks like this. So the interesting thing about the Sailor 50 States Texas is that it kind of has like a kind of has like a matte sheen over the top a little bit I'm not really sure like a black sheen maybe I don't know it's kind of an interesting interesting color we've got going on there and uh, I think kind of the the base color there is pretty actually if I put those corners together that is very close. So kind of like the base color of 50 States, Texas, but without the sheen. Then I also pulled here uh, one from Diamine called Comte de Or, which I think is an exclusive from... I forget where that's an exclusive from, but I think it might be uh, one of the German exclusives, perhaps, or maybe one for cult pens. I don't remember. You'd have to Google it. Uh, and I, <laughs> I haven't done that yet, but it looks like it's kind of close to, to the most of that color in that one. So that's a pretty close one, Comte de Or. And also, of course, I pulled this one, which is Franklin Christoph Honeycomb. And Honeycomb has some of those same tones as well, although maybe it would be a little bit lighter. I don't know. I think that's pretty close to Honeycomb. Uh, so honeycomb and cinnamon bun. I mean, you could eat those together probably. So there you go. There's day 19 Cinnabon, the, uh, another scented ink. That's, uh, I think the second one for the collection. I bet that's probably all they're going to do with these. They don't usually do very many scented ones. This one, not objectionable, just, um, you know, kind of like that candy. So there you go. Uh, see you tomorrow for day 20 until then. Peace out.